Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. It's time to get the Lux Power Tech 12K inverter mounted here inside of my testing location. Now, in the future, I intend on having a little lift system that will allow me to put things that are this heavy on that. Uh, basically, it's a sit stand desk and it'll allow me to uh, lift this up and mount it on the wall without having to pick it up like I'm about to. Uh, probably not smart to pick up 130 pounds and hoist it up to the wall here. So I'm going to be mounting this a little bit low so that uh, I don't hurt myself and then we can still access the screen here and get all of our connections done uh, at the height that it's going to be. So all right, let's go ahead and get started mounting this very heavy inverter. I just did a test pickup with this inverter to see if I could pick it up and it is quite heavy. Uh, so mounting options. The first thing to consider is the mounting plate here. Now you'll notice right in the middle there is an arrow and that needs to be pointing upwards. So when you first look at this you might think it should be down because these little scoops or hooks here is what's going to hold the inverter. But nope, actually you're going to be mounting it with uh, this surface right here against the wall and that arrow facing up and so this right here is what's going to allow the inverter to uh, hook onto. So having that uh, beveled edge there should prevent any catching as you're holding up something so heavy. Now, as far as the surfaces that you can mount to, I've got uh, studs behind my paneling here. And so I'm gonna be using the wood anchors. These uh, are anchor bolts and they'll be just uh, screwed in. And so what I'm going to do is use a drill bit that is uh, smaller than the threads of that anchor. And I'll put some holes in the wall and then I'll be able to use the same drill with a socket set and that will uh, get these attached in here. Now, if you're installing into a concrete wall or a brick wall, the kit does come with anchors for that. Essentially, you will drill a hole that's the same size of this anchor. Place this in, keep the washers and the nut on here, hammer this, and then it will flare out this end, locking it into the wall, and then you can remove the nut to uh, mount that bracket onto. So uh, handy to have that as well. Lastly, there are some side L brackets that will go on the side of the inverter, and then you can use either uh, screws or some bolts to lock this into the wall and that will prevent the inverter from swinging out uh, away from the wall. This area right here is as high as I'm going to be able to lift this inverter. So I'm going to pick my starting spot right here. I've got uh, two studs behind uh, this panel right here. And so I'm just going to pick right about here for my first hole. Swap out my drill bit for this socket. Making sure the arrow is facing up, I'm going to place my anchor here. Now I did put a washer on that to help prevent it from marring up that surface. Okay, I'm gonna get this uh, semi-tight, but not really that tight. Now I'm gonna place a level up on top of the bracket and make sure that it is level so that I can put my next anchor bolt in there. Looks like right there is the place we want. All right, I'm gonna take one more of these anchor bolts and put this into the wood. Make sure those are nice and tight. Now, honestly, that right there is probably enough to hold this, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the lower ones in here just for safety. There we go. That seems to be nice and secure. Okay, I'm gonna pick this inverter up and hopefully set it on top of this bracket. Uh, this is definitely where you would use two and maybe even three people to get this up here. Um, so this will either go very smooth or be a disaster. Like I said though, in the future, I'm gonna have a sit stand desk that I can uh, simply put things like this inverter on, push a button, lift it up to where I need it, and just uh, set it on the wall, push that button to lower it down, and it will be fine. But for now, I'm gonna try this and see if I can't get this inverter here on the wall. Yeah, let's see how I do it here. Or if I went way too long. Mm. 
All right, first thing I'm noticing, it wants to uh, lean forward. Okay, well, I think we're in. Yeah, okay. I could have gone a little higher, but uh, it's good enough. My initial thoughts on mounting this inverter, definitely consider using more than one person. Uh, my next thought is that whenever you do go to put this in, because there is an empty space back here, the uh, whole inverter will kind of want to lean forward. And so using these handles to mount this was a little bit off. So as far as the balancing point, had to use one hand up under here to pull this back out and get it to snap down on there. But the mounting system is pretty straightforward and worked out well. So here are the other holes where you would now mount this into the wall and prevent that from being able to swing out. So whenever I actually do get this mounted, I'll be using some three quarter inch plywood and uh, that'll give me something to attach this to. So essentially, these little L brackets here will go in this spot and then allow that to attach to the wall and not be able to uh, pull forward. So very good. I uh, can't really show you any closer here on that bracket system, uh, but it did uh, mount pretty well flush against the wall. When considering the height of how high you should mount this inverter, I think a couple things come into play. One would be, are you placing batteries directly up under the inverter? And are you using the batteries designed to go with this inverter that have a specific height? If not, uh, I think it would just matter about uh, your display height and how much room you need for cables to go up underneath. I've seen batteries that are easily this high and so you may have to uh, go up another few inches, especially to uh, be able to access your uh, cables down here. And so for myself, I think I may just place my test battery over here to the side and run my cables up that way. And that way I don't have to have any higher uh, than what it already is. But like I said, uh, my eye level comes to about right here. And so I would want this up another six inches so that it's just easy to uh, be able to access this screen from head high. Uh, but for tripod purposes, I think this will be a good height right here for us to be able to do our future testing. I have to say that mounting the Lux Powertech 12K inverter was pretty smooth. If you had two people, it would be a breeze. You would just uh, have one person on each side, grab the mounting handle, grab up under here, and then uh, lift and press down. And if you have those two people with one hand down here, you won't have that issue that I had with it trying to uh, pivot backwards. So no problem whatsoever. And even by myself, I didn't have to uh, search for the holes on the back. The uh, round over on that bracket just allowed, allowed it to uh, slip right into place. So no problem at all. And including the both uh, concrete mounts and also the wood mounts is a good touch. So definitely glad they did that. If you have any questions, write those down below. If you want to check out the Lux Powertech Inverter, which is also the EG4, I will have links to this in the description down below. I'm Seth with Landa House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.